Hi everyone and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. So being that my giveaway for May is Real Techniques brushes, I thought I would do a look using Real Techniques, the Real Techniques brushes that I'm giving away and show you how you can do your full face with them. So I've already got one eye done to speed up a bit of time so um, I'll zoom in, I'll do that second eye and then I'll do the rest of my face. Um, the reason I'm doing my eyeshadow first is just because it's a bit of fallout and I just don't want to get that and ruin my makeup so depending on which palettes I'm using I know if they've got fallout or not sometimes I do do my um, foundation second. So I'll just zoom in if I can get it to go the right way so that you can see what I'm doing. So I've already primed my eye with um, some um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I am just going to run over it with um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in gold. So, and I wish I could move the camera right now because Suki is scratching on the door to get in of course and I am also just going to run a touch of that gold very carefully under my lower lash line for the eyeshadow that I'll be putting down there later so for this look I am using the um, Naked Palette 2 um, and I will just run through the colours as I use them so First of all, the first brush I'm going to use, and I'm going to use this quite a few times, this is a fantastic brush. Um, this is the um, Real Techniques, of course, and it is the um, Base Shadow Brush. I'm hoping that that will, if I can get it right. So the Base Shadow Brush, this I'm going to use repeatedly. Um, so just to show you that, yeah, you can get so much use out of this brush it's ridiculous which is why I chose because a lot of the people a lot of you guys have been requesting that I use or I give away my favorite brushes and that's really hard to do but when it really came down to it brushes out of enti an entire set that I would give away would have to be the real techniques because they're just so versatile in what they do so the first color I'm going to go in with is um, is Verve. I haven't got my glasses on so I can't see. So I'm just going in with Verve first and I'm just going to put that on one side of um, my Real Techniques eyeshadow brush and I'm just putting this on the inner quarter of my eye and about one third over. The reason I've used gold is because although I'm using the silver and the this silvery colour in the beginning the rest of it is sort of gold based so for this moment I'm just switching to the other side and I am going to go in with half baked which is truly one of my favourite colours out of both of these palettes and I'm just going to place that on the centre of my lid and just blend it slightly into Verve just taking that up to my crease then I've just got to put the palette down because I'm going to just wipe off the brush so just clean the brush off and then I am going to go in with um, Chopper as the third colour on my lid and I'm just running this in the outer corner just to sort of add a bit more dimension and blend these into the darker colours and then last of all just flipping the brush over I'm going into busted but I'm also going to use the tip of the brush for this so first of all I'm just going to swipe it on the side of the brush and start darkening that outer corner and bringing it up to my crease and then I'm just going to just place the tip of it sorry I'm zoomed in a lot so I'm just placing the tip of the brush like if I can get it in the camera just the point of the brush and I'm basically just going to stamp this through my crease because I really want to darken my crease up so just keep going in with busted until you get the desired 
look that's why I love these palettes and I do giveaways on them so often because they are just truly so versatile so then I am just going to clean this brush off again just one more time and I am going to go in first of all with um, Booty Call and I am taking that up over my brow bone to make it my brow, my brow highlight and then on the other side of the brush I am just going to go in with um, Snake Bite like I, what did I use? Snake Bite? Yes I did or tease Snake Bite I used, sorry, I had to remember so I'm just going in with Snake Bite and I am very very just gently running that just as my transition colour up above the crease so that's that done just making sure that both eyes are even although I did blend it out now this is another brush that I absolutely love from Real Techniques it's it's such a versatile brush so this is the um, deluxe crease brush and I can never remember the name of it it's this fabulous dome shaped brush and the bristles are fairly stiff but it, they really allow you to work with um, it really well and you can do fairly precise work considering the size of the brush and it's got a nice domed point on it so with this I'm going to go in with blackout and I'm literally just covering the end of you'll see that's now got black so I'm just starting in the corner to darken my outer corner and then I'm running this and I'm going to basically blend it so that there's no harsh lines with the other colours so a bit more because I like it relatively dark so I'm just going to blend this into that crease a little making sure that my eyes are even of course so really just stamping that in to give that outer corner that bit of depth and then just running it up then I'm going to clean it off again so I just clean it off using a dry tissue and really it works like a treat then I'm just going to go back in with busted again on the tip of that brush and I'm going to use that as my blending color and do the rainbow motions through the crease just to give that a really nice blend so there's no harsh lines and now my cats are playing with the blinds Snickers would you get down thank you so I just want to even up this eye so that it's even with the other eye because now I've got a little bit more colour so make sure that they're even even Stevens then I am going to go in with this um, this is the let me see it's in tiny tiny print the accent brush so hopefully this will focus and it's like this sort of a brush it's very very small and very very fine so I'm just going to use this for a bit of highlighting underneath my eye so I'm just going to go in with chopper and I'm just really using the side of that brush I'm just going to drag that along my bottom um, lash line just to brighten up the color a bit and then I am going to go in with Busted on the other side of that brush and just drag it about um, a third of the way, maybe even halfway. I always say I don't do halves, but sometimes I do. Then on the very tip, I'm just going to go in with Blackout and just highlight that very outer corner. And that's it done 
Now, I will zoom back out again and continue to do the rest of my face. Sorry, ladies, wrong way. I might actually just fix my do what I would normally do because I've done it on one eye and I haven't done it on the other. I'm just going back into booty call and I am just brightening the inner part of my eye around my tear duct and pulling that colour back up and blending that harsh line. So these brushes are great for blending colour, they're great for packing on colour, you name it, they do it. They're just great. And I love them and you can get a really great eye look with them. So that is my eye look basically done. So now face, which is looking, my eyes are looking very baggy and dark and blur right now. So I do apologize for that. Um, I am going to go in and I've got none of my face products yet. Unbelievable. Hang on a second. Sorry. As per usual, I'm ducking out of view which I am very naughty at. I did mean to get all these products out before, but I forgot. So I'm just going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix. And I am going to use for this, of course, all of these brushes are mine. This is the buffing brush um, from Real Techniques, and it's just amazing for putting on foundation. If you want a flawless finish, no matter what foundation, I haven't found a foundation yet that this does not work on it's just amazing and it covers up all the redness of my psoriasis it fills pores it just blurs any imperfections um, I like it because I can stipple it under and around my eye and it's quite gentle and it fits and it doesn't disturb my eye makeup if I've already done it you'll see I've got quite a bit of psoriasis and redness under my eye and this brush just helps it all just disappear which is just amazing even the pores on my nose just gone which is great so I have to say I'm very happy about that and you saw how much foundation I used it was not a great deal so I better hurry up and finish because otherwise this video is going to be very long. So, at least for the rest, I don't have to bend and duck and do a lot of other things. So, um, next thing I'm going to do is foundation. I've done foundation. How about blush? Um, let's do... A hard candy one. I like this one. This one's called Living Doll. Sorry, Glare. This one's called Living Doll. I absolutely love it because it's got these little bits of gold and stuff in it. And for this, I am using, using the contour brush, which I like because I can sort of place the blush where I want it and then build it out as... Can you hear my cats going crazy on the bed? Aren't they insane? So you can build this out as little or as much as you like which I really love so you can get a really great contour line or with your, bl with your blush you can just it's a little more precise if that makes sense and I do like this even for um, when I'm using um, my brain just won't work bother when I'm using um, it still won't come to me. I can cream blushes is what I'm trying to say. Goodness me. When I use cream blushes, I love using this because it really I can blend and dab and put it wherever I like. So we'll add a little bit of contour. I'll put that one away. Reaching again, um, uh, and we'll just go for the Too Faced um Soleil, chocolate soleil. And I'm just going to use that same brush and just contour under where I put that blush
and then to be quick just I didn't powder so I'm just going in with this um, pressed foundation this is number eight I believe I've spoken to you about this before this is the um, this is from Coastal Scents and I really love this powder because it's a it's a foundation and a um, but in a what do they call it iridescent finish so it just gives my skin just a bit of a lift and I'll just use that to blend out and make sure there's no harsh lines and again I'm using the buffing brush for this so then I contour just going to use my um, Rimmel um, wake me up this one is in what color is it in very fair to light but I've got fairly dark skin and I actually don't find that this ends up being too light on me and I like to use the foundation um, essential foundation brush for this because I just find that it gets in without disturbing like I say my eye makeup if I've already done it and being that I'm working so close to my eye I like a brush that is small and can get into those sort of areas and I'm not actually a big fan of these paddle brushes for mascara I don't know why I'm just not I used to be but not anymore I think because of the finish I can get with the buffing brush is just so much better now to set that and lighten the underneath of my eye, I've found a little trick that works for me. I use the Too Faced Candlelight um, Candlelit um, Highlighter and I just put that and I do one dab so you can't even see it but I just gently dab that over to set my under eye concealer and I find that it just really gives my eyes a lift and every day that I do this somebody comments about how great I look and how awake I look and I just I'm sure this is what it is and then I just take that up to the usual places to highlight the rest of my face nearly done sorry for taking so long the one brush that I haven't used is the setting brush I also use this a lot for my under eye area and just making sure that everything's nicely blended and there's no harsh lines so it's a toss up with me which of these two brushes I use whether I use the setting brush or the foundation brush they're both fabulous last thing I am going to do and the last brush in the set if I can find it well actually there's two but I don't I don't tend to use this one very much there's two brushes that I don't tend to use, but they are still great, but I don't just don't use them a lot. And one of them is the um, d detailer brush, and the other one is the pixelated point um, eyeliner brush. So these two brushes are in the set, but I don't tend to use them a great deal. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows, and with this I'm using the Illamasqua, and this one's in Thunder, so it's a darker brown. And I am using the Deluxe, no, just the brow brush, Deluxe nothing, just the plain brown brow, brow brush. So, just going to do my brows, and excuse my cats, apparently it's playtime for them right now just because I'm in here and they've decided they're going to have a while of a time I'll have to do another update on Suki she's getting so big and she's so gorgeous so I'm just going to set that with some clear mascara gel from e.l.f. and then lastly lashes and lipstick so my lipstick I am going to use my Miraness this is the number four twist you've seen me use this before it's just the most beautiful rosy pink sort of color it just adds just that bit of color that I need to my face just to brighten everything a little 
and then mascara and we're done so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to enter my giveaway for these brushes they really are amazing um, you've seen them in action I'm sure by other people before but like I say being that people have sort of asked me for a giveaway of my favorite brushes I would have to I, you know Coastal Scents do nice brushes BH Cosmetics do nice brushes um, Sedona Lace do great brushes Sigma of course and I use a lot of Sigma, Sigma brushes um, but a whole set that would give you everything you needed I really think the Real Techniques ones cover that beautifully so and I've nearly finished my mascara and I do apologize for taking so long so there you go face done using the brushes from Real Techniques so I hope you're having a great time whatever it is that you're doing by the way just quickly I was asked to do a tutorial on these nails that I posted on Instagram so I'll try and get that up too and I will do my nails again this weekend so I'll probably try and do a tutorial on that as well hope you're all doing great and I'll talk to you all again soon thanks for watching bye